previous video you can see that I was interfacing STMMC with the ESP32 so in this video instead of using the STMMC I was using STSPI which is consists of MOSI, MISO, Serial Corp and Chip Select as well as VCC and ground for the power connection I was trying the STSPI configuration for the ESP32 in the way to store the data to the SD card we got here is this is the interfacing with the ESP32 with the STSPI configuration while I plug into the ESP32 the STSPI configuration I do uh, some notes here which is mostly of the GPIO number connect to the 23 for the ESP32 MISO is 19 clock 18 and chip select is 5 pin 5 on the ESP32 and now I use the examples from the ESP IDF which they have provided the ST SPI code so we can flash it straight away to the ESP32 and yet go through here which is the examples code and some of the things we have to modify it in terms of the code in order to have to work with the ST SPI there are certain uh, topics or discussion going on which is the issues there is problem in getting the STSPI as work as possible host they say it's host STMMC that method max frequency kilohertz is set as 4k so in terms of this you have to add on this which is to the code which is the examples from the ESP IDF code if not it, it doesn't run it got the error there Okay, in order to run this, you go to the expressive. I show you where is the directory of this. Launch your ESP IDF. Here you go to CD examples. CD. The next thing is you go to the storage. Then next is you go to the SD card. You can see this SD card. Max is. You see the previous which is I'm working on the which is STMMC. So for now, we're going to the STSPI, CD, STSPI. Okay, now you into the, which is the sort of environment to flash it to the ESP32. So we just flash it, it. Build flash monitor. So sort of the code I already opened it is here. Main, then it launch this. Okay, this is the code. What happened is I removed the max frequency kilohertz in 10k kilohertz. You see when I launch it, there will be some issues going on. Okay, there is no issues. So that is just an add-on for that. So what you need to do is basically you just launch the examples code and it will be working well. And before that, before you're launching the code, you go to the menu config. From here, you can see this is the menu config. You go to the ST example configuration. From here, you have to configure the pinout which I provided just now is 23 for Mossy, 19 MISO, 18 clock, and chip select is 5. This is okay. Now you can launch it. Build flash monitor. Just press the up and down button to make it faster. You can go for your previous command just by up and button down button. It's easier to configure. You don't have to type it again again. This is just now as chip select pin 5. You can see GPIO 23 is the MOSI. MISO GPIO 19 and serial clock should be 18. Yes, that's it for my video today for STSPI configuration. You can check out my last video which is the STMMC configuration with the ESP32. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, hope to see you next ESP32 video. Yeah, see you again. Bye.